This video is going to show you how to get started for with activity 133 called Geometric Constraints or Constraining a Sketch. So this is a file that I've downloaded from our Canvas Assignment uh, Resources tab. And I went ahead and uploaded this into the data panel. So I've actually created an activity 133 folder inside of our practice folder. And I can go ahead and go ahead and open this up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the file to get started. I'm going to go ahead and close the data panel, is we need to go through and reference. You're going to see here is the active component, but if I go down here at the very bottom, I see there's a sketch that was used to create the geometry. So if I right-click on the sketch and I say Edit Sketch, this brings me back into the sketch that, I'm, that I used to create the geometry. So I'm going to kind of just show you a few of these constraints. One is says here is you're going to zoom in and you're going to be able to look at each one of these. This one says make perpendicular. So what I can do is under constraints I can find my perpendicular constraint and I'm just going to select the one line and I click the next line and that's going to make a nice 90 degree angle making it perpendicular. So all of this is going to deal with utilizing something within this constraints panel. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the other to another one make all three lines parallel to each other so here I can grab the parallel constraint select one line select another and then I gotta select one line and then select the third one all the lines now are parallel to one another and that's how we're able to go through and constrain the sketch as I look at the next one this one says we're going to dimension diameter uh, number th the dimension number three to a two inch diameter so this is the number three circle so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the sketch dimension I'm going to go ahead and make this two inches. It may resize your sketch just a little bit. And it says fix circles one and two. Well, what they mean by a fix is under constraints, you can, it has a little lock icon, which means that you can lock it into place. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the fix option. I'm going to select the number one circle. It'll turn like a greenish color to lock it into place. And I'm going to also click number two. So it locks those where they're at and then it says make three tangent to one and two so now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna choose the tangent option I'll choose the third circle and I'm gonna choose number one so it's gonna move them so that way that they touch or they are tangent and I'm gonna choose number three and number two and you can see now it locks it into place because one and two can't go anywhere so you can see some of the constraints see the little icons if I want to go through and if I want need to get rid of a, a constraint I can always select the icon right click and say delete and then now you can see now I can move this freely so I can click and drag and be able to move that but if I want to reapply tangent and just reapply the constraint okay this one here make the make the circle tangent to both lines so if you select the line and then the circle the line and then the circle the lines will go through and be tangent and that is pretty easy all right, last one here has just to kind of get you started. This one is, usually has a lot of questions. This one goes through and says fix point C. So point C is actually the center point of the circle. So I'm going to go ahead and fix the center point of the circle there. You can see it kind of highlights in a green, and which means that the diameter of the circle can change, but the center point has to stay locked where it's at. And then it says make endpoints A and B coincident with point C, which means that the ends of these lines need to go through and come out of the center. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the coincident constraint. So if you hover over your mouse over any of the icons, it'll tell you what it is. I can choose the end of this line, choose the center, choose the end of this line, and choose the center of the circle. And now you get this shape right here. So both the line uh, in points whenever you make something coincident it's going to lock it in in that particular place so the rest of these you can go through and again you can finish out the rest of the activity kind of looking at those geometric constraints look at your activity instructions that'll show you what your after should look like and make sure that you go through and you get the same results as what it shows in the after picture that you see on the google doc so if you have questions or anything, let me know so that way I can help you out. But this is how you will do activity 133, constraining a sketch.